Hello, I'm Amanda Texera and I'm enrolled in the Instructional Technology Program here at Kennesaw State University. I'm enrolled in the Specialist Program and plan to graduate in summer of 2017. The Capstone Project is entitled Online and Blended Learning, a Personal and Professional Endeavor. This is where I teach, Little Mill Middle School. The administration at Little Mill sought to incorporate more technology within the Breakfast Club sessions of math, science, social studies, and English throughout all grade levels. Breakfast Club students receive remediation of the state standards from teachers to help them obtain mastery. Sessions are held in the mornings Monday through Thursday beginning in the middle of September and end in April. By implementing more technology, the administration hoped that student engagement, technology skills for both teachers and students, and Georgia Milestone scores would improve in these core subject areas. The administration also agreed that I should host some professional development sessions to help Breakfast Club teachers design and implement similar online modules throughout the school year. After meeting with administration, the ITS, and the Title I coordinator, we agreed that I would pilot some online modules within my Spanish classes beginning in August. These online modules would be created for my students regarding their prior knowledge of technology and it would be assessed again after the module's completion. By having my students complete these assessments within the LMS first, I could modify the lessons and troubleshoot technology issues before helping breakfast club teachers. I was also to attend breakfast club sessions to observe classroom structure in terms of lessons and help teachers. The planning and implementation of this capstone experience began in May 2016. I spent June and July of that time researching online and blended learning, teacher and student feedback, collaboration, deciding which technology tools within the LMS would work best with student engagement, and working with my professor deciding upon the best evaluation tools for this endeavor. It was decided that I would use pre and post survey results throughout the online modules with my students to assess what they felt like they had learned. It was also necessary to administer similar surveys with Breakfast Club teachers. This data would help me shape the future online modules for my students and provide some personal experience for teachers while developing their professional development sessions. Solomon and Shrum in their book titled Web 2.0 How To for Educators stated that group collaboration projects utilizing technology were 21st century skills necessary for both the classroom and the workplace. Solomon and Shrum provided sound reason for the use of collaborative productivity tools. These tools have also afforded educators a way to promote and encourage collaboration authentically in the development of projects and papers, page 100. Therefore, the discussion tool and G Suite were determined to be good pre preliminary tools to use with my students in their online modules. I also looked at implementing rote drill exercises via Quizlet and having students work in groups to create their own Kahoot games. Wint and Rockinson Zapke noted in their study of science students who used Edmodo as an online platform that the teacher did not actively participate in the discussions or other areas of inquiry. She monitored them but did not respond to students directly within the online arena. The researchers stated that teacher feedback in this study may have been delayed, which potentially provided the opportunity for reinforcement of peer misconceptions to be set forth and reinforced. Went and Rockin Sinsbetsky, 2014, page 1113. This motivated me to be an active participant in my students' discussions and to make them respond to each other's posts as well. This also unexpectedly tied in a collaborative component. I was wary of working with the teachers because it was so difficult to even get them to respond to me with regard to their breakfast club sessions. However, I really wanted to make those personal connections with them as I felt they would be more apt to work with the technology if I was encouraging and modeling what could be implemented based on my own classroom experiences. The data of my own students' work would perhaps make them more inclined to try incorporating more technology in these sessions. In August of 2016, I began to administer the pre-surveys to my students and reserved Chromebooks for my large classes, or we went to the computer lab to complete the assignments. Students use headphones to record themselves in the target language of Spanish using the LMS tools provided for audio, utilize the discussion component of the LMS, and uploaded pictures they selected from a Creative Commons area. 
Students were required to respond to one another, and I posted many audio responses as well. Post-survey results indicated that students were fully aware of how to complete these types of assignments and use the appropriate technology tools to do so, whereas previously a majority of students did not. During the third week of September, I began to attend Breakfast Club sessions to observe teachers and noted there was not a utilization of technology on the part of the students. They simply watched technology being used to review concepts. This occurred in all subject areas. The teachers worked hard and the students did as well in some ways. They did a lot of extra practice worksheets. Pre-survey results of teachers indicated that they did not use the discussion tools or G Suite applications much within their regular academic classes. Google Docs and its many features were introduced gradually over time to my students. They truly enjoyed the group project I designed with a cooking show theme. It took a great deal of extra work on my part to review their scripts with them, but using Google Docs made this much easier and transparent for all to use. The professional learning sessions held in October 2016 and February 2017 were worthwhile for the Breakfast Club teachers. They were happy to try the discussion tool because it seemed less daunting to them than a collaborative project within Google Docs or Sheets. Encouraging them to participate in the discussion made them more attuned to grammatical errors and if math equations were being solved appropriately through this writing process. Science teachers felt like they could expand the discussion topic to perhaps explorers in the periodic table throughout the year. They felt like students could be very engaged in these scenarios. I did feel like if I had not been there to support them in the actual sessions that they might not have done them though. Hi, I'm Carrie Shepard. I'm the Title I Coordinator here at Little Mill Middle School. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about our Breakfast Club. Our Breakfast Club serves students who need remediation and extra help in the core academic content areas of ELA, Math, Science, and Social Studies. Each grade level has teachers who provide additional learning opportunities every morning, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to at-risk students throughout the school year. I feel that Amanda has been very helpful in her attempts to help facilitate more of a blended learning environment here at Breakfast Club. Her ability to work with the teachers to make them feel confident with the technology necessary to implement this change is something that was obvious to me from the start. Amanda does not only assist the teachers with technology, she tries to create other lessons that are outside the box where students may work with Legos or create board games to dem demonstrate mastery of the content. We've appreciated Amanda's efforts with our teachers and students and cannot believe she has only been at the mill for two years. It feels like it's been much longer than that. She's part of our family. At the mill, our teachers and students are like family, and we appreciate anybody who's willing to take their extra time to help us with students. Throughout the capstone experience, I reflected deeply upon the knowledge, skills, and dispositions, the positive outcomes of the project, and what I could change in the future. The Title I coordinator was instrumental for many aspects of this capstone experience concerning programs, budgets, student data, and research concerning at-risk students. She was extremely supportive and should have been included in the original foundation of outlining the capstone experience. One aspect of the capstone that could be modified in the future was the ex expectation that Georgia milestones could show improvement after these sessions. This was not a feasible goal from a data standpoint. I should have aligned the capstone to the School Improvement Plan, or SIP, which outlined an initiative to have students write more in their classes in an attempt to improve English and language arts scores. If I were to implement this same type of capstone, I would decrease the number of assessments, surveys, and data collected throughout this type of project. It was overwhelming for me, teachers, and the students to manage the assessments and especially the surveys. Overall, the collaborative process between the instructor and Breakfast Club teachers demonstrated awareness that technology, both online and blended, can promote and sustain innovations in a school that is focused on improving student achievement in all areas.